Now it's honking. I guess it's like screaming. Oh. Yeah, that bounced the whole truck. So you have any words? Yeah, just for reference, stop when you're right there, not when you're up there. I, I'd pull up here. Whatever you want. And we have to do it twice so you can get it filmed right We there. would, yeah. Okay. So which one would you rather do? Let's just, is this a good spot to do it with this cow crap right here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean. Okay. Now the wind decides it'll blow a little bit, but be all right. Is that too much? We always do it again, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we get lots of questions about my pickup setup, the way we got this feed truck set up. So this is my personal pickup. I drive it every day. Um, so I've got a... This is a TNS trip hopper. It's rated to hold a thousand pounds of feed. This one will hold about 1200, depending on what kind of feed you put in it. Um, it's a real simple design. I don't know how much information y'all all want, but I'll show you the whole thing. This one was actually in a pickup fire. Men like to see everything. So yeah. if we have a lot of men on here, they'll want to see every little detail. So here, no hate. Here you can make adjustments. You just loosen this set screw and you can raise it up and down, set it where you want it. To how much feed it drops? To how much feed it drops. So you can see here, when you move this, this handle up and down, it raises this door up and down. So as this chain turns, it pulls these cubes and drops them down in this hopper. Shine down in there, look down in there. Boom, down into the hopper. And then as that chain's turning, right here, I don't know if you can see it, but on the shaft that runs through that chain, there's an ear here and it comes around and it hits this little flapper here. And when it does, it'll push the door open and it drops everything that's in there. And then this spring here pulls the door shut. And as it's turning, it drops the next round in there. So. Like right now, we've got it set to where it drops about four pounds of cubes. So every time it drops a pile, that's about four pounds of cubes. Um, so then we just count how many clicks, depending on how many cows are at each place and how much we want them to have. We just count out how many clicks we want to give them. Um, some of you are probably noticing the siren here. This is a, what brand? a Pierce, Pierce cattle siren, sorry. You don't even know what you got. It was also in the pickup fire. Check out our TikTok page if you want to see the pickup fire. <laughs> so you have any words? Yeah, just for reference, stop when you're right there, not when you're up there. I, I'd pull up here and I thought, well, I better get out of the way and I'll feed up here buying it. What they're gonna do with it. And they said, yeah, they'd let me, they'd let me buy it. Yes, the cows are The feeder's going off because the wires are burning. Oh, there we go. Now we get to Sort of. I'm not getting any closer than this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I know, I'm like, I'll come on back because this is looking scary now. I can't even film straight because I'm shaking. Yeah, she gone. If she was a she. Yeah. Maybe that wasn't then, because that popped in with that one. That was a tie right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, good thing you didn't leave it in the truck, Cody. Yeah. Might grab your foot here a little bit. Be careful. While we wait for the fire department, we clear a path. Now it's honking. I guess it's like screaming. Oh. Yeah, that bounced the whole truck. Well, insurance by Carlos's feet. What was in that pickup? It was loaded all the way down. 
the rescue crews here. Uh-oh, uh he's going into it. Does he know that we got stuck and that was the whole point? <laughs> here he goes, trying to put it out. That would suck. <laughs> He come get all that copper out of it. He got a little bit. Yeah, I walked away. The glass is walking around. Oh, that stinks. Uh, mm. Good stink. Uh, but I use this instead of using my horn on my truck because the longer you push on that horn, it burns out in two or three minutes of calling cows up. And some of these places we check are pretty big. And you just, the cows can't hear it. It doesn't carry as far as this siren does. So like if I hit it, well, y'all heard it. Y'all don't need to hear it again. Um, so that's it. That's the, the feeder and the siren. And then this truck, you can see here at the back where the tailgate, where it looks like the, the bed's cut open. This is a hay spike. So this truck has a hydraulic cylinder underneath it where you can let the spikes down and pick up a bale of hay and then pick it back up spirit and pick it up and you can put out hay with it so in the winter time which we'll show you all that where this are your winter, spikes at cody they're underneath the bed there's a compartment holder under there sorry hidden compartment hidden compartment yeah okay so this winter we'll show you all some videos of putting out hay with this pickup i've also got a hay trailer that i can load with this with this bed on here so what's that thing on top of your feeder oh almost forgot about that. how do you forget that on top of the feeder yeah the right. black deal yeah up there so that's also a Pierce spotlight. That's an LED spotlight. Um, I've got a remote control, a wireless remote inside the cab. So at night when we're checking cows or um, if we're checking fences and something gets out and we gotta go put something up, we can run that spotlight from inside the cab. And it's, it's really bright, shines a long ways, works really good. So show us all your remote controls after, well, you can do it whenever. Okay. Thanks for letting me be in charge here. I didn't think you were going to do it, Cody, so I was just making so, sure. This is my Chupa Cobra catcher. Actually, it's just a gr grill guard, so this is a front replacement. We have it on here. we got lots of deer where we're at around here and at night and stuff driving around. If you hit one, it can tear up your pickup. So, Also, feeding cows a bunch. Cows are always swarming around your truck, so that just protects the front of my truck from getting cratered by cows. Um, comes in handy i really like it i've had it on every pickup i've ever owned since i was 16. so what was that is it just to look cool it's just to look cool okay really, yeah. just making sure everything just making sure i heard that right that it's just to look cool everything on my truck is just to look cool okay so, um you didn't clean out the 
Cody. You were oh, in charge look. of cleaning the floorboard out. He did not. Clean. There's two wag bar wrappers down there too. Okay. Good grief. Okay. So, let's see. Erica's got all her junk in here. Do you even know where your remote is? It's over on the floorboard. He can't even get to it, y'all. What's happening in there? It's hung up on the Wild Hog Whacker 2000. Oh, okay. So, this is the control that runs the hay spike in the back. You can hear it. That's letting it down. You want to go check that out? No. That brings it back up. Double you can hear when it changes. That means it's all the way up. Um, if Eric will hand me the camera. Oh, gosh. Good luck, guys. I'm sorry. Good luck. So here's the front seat of my truck. And right here is a switch that I mounted. So the bottom turns the cake feeder on. And then the top is uh, the siren. These are a really neat switch I found on, I don't know, Amazon or something, but, um, so the top switch is a momentary on off. So that means when you push it, it, it engages whatever you've got it wired to. And when you let off on it, then it, why are you shooting the ground? Just showing all the trash that you have down there. Oh. I'm listening to you still. When you let off of it, it turns itself off. And then the bottom is a continuous on. So when you push it on, it stays on until you push it off. So, um, that's just the way I wired it. It's not the way everybody does it, but I really like it that way. I also have everything run off of the, the solenoid that I added over on the toolbox side of the, of the truck over there. So, All very interesting, Cody. Thanks. Hope I didn't bore y'all too much. If y'all got questions, y'all let us know that is somebody shooting. Right I told there. you. I always believed you. No, you did not. Okay, we're, I'm going to get back in the pickup. It's hot. It's hot. Hey, guys. We went for a bike ride just now. Bub, how far was our bike ride? Less than a mile, probably. Mile. It was like five minutes or something. It felt like death because it's like over 100 already, and I don't know what we were thinking. So we decided we'd get in the pool. We, it needs to be cleaned out in the middle, so we're going to just jump in the pool instead. Oh, gosh. See, Bob's going to 4-H camp. Have fun, Bubs. I will. Love you. Will you take this? Love you. No, that was just the checklist. He's got his camp forms in his bag and his money in his bag. So, we need two fluid ounces. So, if you guys are big time like real gardeners, which we're not, Let us know what we're doing wrong here or how you combat, we call them tomato worms. I think people, some people call them tomato cut worms or something. Tomato horn worms. Horn worms, yeah. Did you know that they poop? Well, I mean, most everything that eats something okay, got poop. Okay, listen, but Cowboy Mac did a TikTok where he showed tomato worm poop all over the ground. Okay. Like he could tell that they were there because it's been dropping. I've never seen that before. Have y'all seen that before? I've
I've never seen that. He could tell he had tomato worms? Yes. Because of the poop on the ground? Yes. I swear. Really, cowboy man? I'm not here. joking. I'll show you the I'll show you the TikTok. I only know I have tomato worms when my leaves are all gone. What's y'all's favorite thing to plant in your garden? Mine is definitely tomatoes. I really like banana peppers, jalapenos. None of our peppers survived. I don't know what happened. We just had a pitiful garden this year. See, my purple flowers are starting to look bad right there and they've been looking good forever. So spray those bad boys good. They don't look eaten up by grasshoppers. I think they just need more water because it's been 105 every day. And I think the only thing eating all these right now, the grasshoppers ate them the other day, but I think the only thing eating these is my dogs. They're eating the sweet potato vine. I've never seen them do that. All right, guys. This is Sheba, our livestock guardian dog. As you can see, she's pretty miserable right now because she's pretty heavy bred, fixing to have some puppies. And, get a good, uh, good shot of her. She's gonna get, up, gonna get up now. Yeah, Not gonna be able to see her. Spot, huh, she? She's gonna have puppies. Any, I know, I, I know we don't have any idea when, but yeah, we don't know when she's gonna have them, but. And I know she's pretty lanky looking, but she's been that way her whole life. She's got free choice feed. She can eat as much as she wants when she wants it. Um, very well taken care of. She gets worm three or four times a year. So that's just that's just her. She's yep. just long and lean and that's the way she looks. Um, but she's an excellent livestock guardian dog. She she don't let anything get in her in her flock. She takes good care of her sheep and uh, we're anxious to get some puppies out of her. Maybe keep one or two. I doubt it. Come and then, on. Uh, no. Well, anyways, y'all the just. They're going to want to keep, we keep one all of them. Y'all just. We're going to be getting rid of them. So y'all stay they'll be, tuned. They'll be full Akbosh livestock guardian dogs. They're going to um, be so cute. They'll be they'll be good ones. Yep. So y'all stay we'll tuned. We'll keep you updated on them. This is Nala. Uh, you got to lay down, Nala. You want me to pet you? What do you want, Nala? Do you need a petting? Do you need me to rub your belly? You need me to rub your belly? We're going out here to feed the cats and I already missed it. Y'all missed all the action. The dogs always come out here first and they beat me out here and they run off all the cats and all the cats go hide. It's ridiculous. They do it every single time. Hey, kitty. barn cats ours are super good and they usually become usually they start out as easy to handle and then they get scared away but these have been scared from the get-go and I haven't been able to handle them yet it's just two of them but I haven't been able to get to touch them this is the closest I've ever been there's one sitting right over here and there's one eating in front of me and they've never ate in front of me before so maybe maybe we're making headway we'll see See, here's one of the kitties right here. Hey, kitty. Oh, there, there she goes. There goes that one. Here's one of the big barn cats right here. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Oh, nobody's being friendly today. Okay, there's another one. You can see that one down there. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. Nobody, nobody. Nobody wants to play today. We'll go in here and see. Hey, kitties. Hey, kitties. Let's see if anybody wants to play in here. No. Nope. Everybody ran away. Where's the little kitty at? Oh, there it is hiding over there behind the trash can. Can you see it right there? 
Does it hasn't run all the way away. And here's my here's my main mama cat right here. Two born kitties right here. Hey kitty. Hey kitties. Nobody wants me to pet them tonight. Come here. Come here. Come here. She's like, no. Or he. These are both boys. Okay, we'll introduce y'all to the rest of the dogs. Well, we didn't introduce you to David yet. We got Sheba. Did I, did I get too close to you, Cody? Yeah, you're, I mean. You know how to operate the camera? Sorry, yeah. I know right, what I'm here, doing. Izzy. You just keep here, walking Izzy. up on me. Come here, Izzy. Come here. So this is Izzy. And she is a, an Australian Shepherd. And she's a good dog. And she loves to be petted on the belly. Every time you get near her, she rolls over on her belly. Right. Right. You just love being petted on your belly. Yes. And then you have Nala. Nala does the same thing. Well, Izzy, stop. This is working real well for you. Izzy, stop. This is Nala. She rolls over on her belly too because she jumps on you and I've trained her to roll over on her belly if she wants to be petted because she won't stop jumping on you. Huh, so you're Nala. Stop it, stop it. And this good one is Pepper and she's a mini Aussie and she lacks a little bit of petting but not too much attention. But she sits and does lots of good things. And that's Big Dave out there. Oh yeah, Big Dave. He's the dad to Sheba's puppies and the other livestock guardian dog. He's about a, I think he's getting close to three year old Akbosh male. He loves to be petted too, but he, he's, he stays off by himself most of the time. If he ain't laying in the yard. Chauncey still loves me all. I found him out in the pasture. Well, Cody found him and he was our bottle baby and he'll still come to me in the pasture. You can tell by his big pot belly. Chaunch, Chaunchy, you still love me. You've gotten so soft. You've gotten so soft. Oh, you're gonna eat my earrings? You can't eat my earrings. 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 Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. You better go back. You better go back with the crowd. They're gonna disown you. They're gonna disown you. They're gonna disown you. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think he's about to, so we should probably. Huh. Can't jump on me, Chauncey. You've gotten too big now. You've gotten too big. Boys are trying to have quiet time. What are you reading, Dad? Jesus and history, how we know his life and claim. Interesting. What about you, Bob? What's you reading? Boobs and Horns Pasteurized by A.W. Irvin. Oh, that's a good one. Tyler's in there slaving away. Good job, housemaid. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a shower.